water. So that's the only thing that's like stressing me out a little bit. Thank God. Very exciting news. It's docked up. <laughs> Goods have been secured. <laughs> They're smelly insane. So praise. I love that for me. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm so excited. We're having like a fun little day today and I'm excited to like vlog it. Ken is, it's for Ken. So he's like mostly really excited. But I have a couple clips per usual from this morning and then like a couple, like literally like I think only probably two clips from the last couple days that I figured I would just insert really quick since they're not from, well one is from today and I think there's like one or two from like the last couple days. So I wanna insert those here really quick. There's a really cute little like moment with Ken and Cole and then I made Cole a really fun breakfast this morning and I filmed him like eating it. He's been so into, well, he's been kind of selective with his eating lately. <laughs> so we've been trying to like play around with like what he's in the mood to like feed himself and stuff. So I have a clip of that. So let me answer that really quick right here and then I will tell y'all what we're doing today. Where are you trying to go baby? baby, baby, baby. Oh, you sleepy buddy. Oh, you all these hairs in your face. I'm yum 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 yum. I'm yum 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 yum. I'm yum 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 yum. Me 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 Look at that belly. <laughs> Cole has been loving toast so much lately. So we did French toast this morning, which is a literally, I have a little cookbook, but it's an egg, some milk, and a little cinnamon. And then you actually put the bread, like you cut the bread into slices before you make it. I was gonna like just make a whole, you know, piece of French toast and then slice the bread after. But this recipe said to slice the bread first so that like each individual, you know, little strip could get coated. So he's been loving toast. He's been crushing toast. I'm hoping that he likes these. They're super easy to make and honestly, I just tried one. And they're pretty good even though like they don't have any sugar or vanilla or anything. They're good. Good job, bud. Yum, and he's actually gotten so good at picking up like these smaller little pieces. He still doesn't have like his pincher grasp totally down, but he can pick them up and like, <laughs> he does something like tricky with his hands and he gets them in his mouth eventually. He'll like stick his whole fist in his mouth and then, <laughs> yeah, he's got it kind of figured out. Okay, we're gonna eat the, yeah. Oh, you got it, good job. <laughs> he like sticks it in his palm or like in his fist and then he shoves his whole fist in his mouth and then like, let's go. Yum, and honestly, he like never gags on bread anymore, which makes me really happy. Way to go! See, like this piece in his hand isn't sticking out, so he like can't really get it in, but he kind of like, yeah, he sort of like sucks it, <laughs> sucks it out of his hand or just like shoves it all the way in and then lets go. Uh-oh. <gasps> Good job! <laughs> <laughs> so those are some cute little moments from the last couple of days. However, we just lost power, which is weird. Like, it's not storming, it's a little beautiful out, and it's, I don't know, it's so random, it's, uh, I just went to look at the time on the clock, and that's not on. It's like not even 8.30 in the morning, we probably lost it like a half an hour ago. So I don't know what's going on, but it was like the most perfectly imperfect timing for that to happen, because I was literally putting Cole to bed, or well, down for a nap, and I had turned on his sound machine, and then it like turned off like the second after I turned it on, and it was like, what's going on? And like the lights were already off, it was dark in there, so like it's not like the lights turning off like alerted me that the power was out. I just kept trying to turn the sound machine back on, and it wouldn't and it was because the power was out. So I kind of started like panicking because he needs his sound machine to sleep, but the uh, the one we use, like we have a bunch of portable ones. I just turned that on and put him in there, but the problem is, I was like, oh, this won't be a problem with the monitor because obviously like the handheld monitor just charges, but the actual camera itself obviously is plugged into the wall. <laughs> so I was like, oh, no problem, at least like the monitor is charged. Yeah, but the camera needs to be plugged in. So 
I can't really like watch him while he's napping right now, which is obviously weird. And I mean, obviously it's like not like a safety concern because there's nothing in his crib. Like he's totally fine. He sleeps in there while we're sleeping, but I obviously just can't like keep an eye out for, you know, when he wakes up and stuff. I honestly don't even know when he fell asleep. I just like put him in there and then like went into my room and got ready and I could hear him. Like if he was crying, crying, I'd be able to hear him. I didn't hear anything. So I assumed he was asleep and then I just like opened the door and checked and he is asleep. But I don't know when exactly he fell asleep, so I'm not exactly sure like when to pay attention when he might wake up because he'll usually sleep like an hour and a half to two hours. So I'm gonna have to like, I don't know, sit like near his room around like that time so I can hear if he wakes up since I can't check the monitor. So that's the only thing that's like stressing me out a little bit is I can't like pay attention to. Like usually I'll sit outside and edit right now, but since I can't have the monitor, I mean I can do it right now because I know he'll sleep for a while, but if he does wake up early, like I'm not gonna know. And I know it's not like the worst thing if he cries for a little bit. Obviously I can like periodically check, but I kind of hate that I can't use the monitor. And then also like we don't get any service when our power goes out. I don't know what that's about, but like I can't text Ken, I can't call Ken, I can't like go on the internet, I can't do anything. Like even though I have LTE, like I have my cell phone service, when we don't have power, we can't make phone calls, we can't send text messages, we can't use like the internet. So like I'm literally on an island right now, like Ken's at the gym. So like I can't do anything, contact him, get on the internet, like, can't really do much of anything. Obviously I can like clean, I can edit, my computer is charged, I can sit outside with my book. Like it's not like, I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs, but I don't like that I can't like use my phone for anything at all. So anyway, that's what's happened so far this morning. A little bit stressful, but not a big deal. Obviously it's just like the little annoyances, but Ken is like redeeming one of his Christmas gifts today and he's been dying to go to iFly, which is one of those like indoor, like simu, well not simulated. It's like the indoor skydiving things where you know, you're in like a little air tunnel and you can like practice skydiving. He's never gonna go skydiving. He doesn't actually wanna skydive, but he really wants to do this kind of like, I don't know, simulated sort of thing. He's so excited. Excited. Like he's so so excited. I got him like a voucher for it for Christmas and he gets two flights like in one Visit so he's so stoked. So he booked that for two o'clock today So we're gonna go and do that Cole and I are gonna be able to watch I don't know exactly like what the setup is gonna be but he's so stoked and I'm excited to like get to film it Cuz I'm sure he's gonna probably want to look back on the footage and see like what he looked like and I think he's just gonna have so much fun Like he's so over the moon. I'm so excited for him because he's so excited and I'm excited to like see what it's like too. Like I've never been to one of these things or I've never even known anyone that's done it. So I think it's gonna be really cool. It's definitely not something that I want to do. I get like very motion sick. So the whole idea of it kind of like makes me a little bit nervous, but I know he's gonna love it. We're gonna do that today. Maybe grab some dinner. I think that's like probably about it. It's supposed to be pretty hot today too. Like I think almost 90 degrees. So hopefully we can spend some time outside before it gets too warm and hopefully the freaking power comes back on. Update, still no power and it's not coming back on for like five more hours allegedly. So it's probably gonna end up being like. <laughs> <laughs> you see yourself, you hate to man. That would make it like a seven plus hour power outage, which is an issue. Like I don't know how we're gonna have lunch or do anything. I haven't even had my coffee, and I can't microwave it. We struggling. We were just playing outside for like I should have vlogged that. Why didn't I grab the camera? We were just playing outside for like an hour because <laughs> we had nothing else to do. So we had some toys and some bubbles. I'll put a little video. I'll put a little video on the screen of us doing bubbles. Oh, he's still sleepy. He did not take a good nap. His nap was like 40 minutes. But do you want to show them the, the video of you doing your bubbles? You do? <laughs> we're gonna go, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go for a walk since that is one of the few things that we can actually do. I can't even do my workout because I need the TV and the internet. So we might have to switch our rest day for today <laughs> to tomorrow instead. <gasps> yeah, that stinks. I really want to do a workout, that stinks. But at least we can go enjoy the nice weather, bring my cold coffee that I still haven't drank yet. Pro um, mom tip, by the way, definitely get a cup holder that goes on your stroller because it's so handy. Like it, we are able to bring whatever drinks we want when we go on walks, it's the best thing ever. Also, if you're curious what is in the background here, Ken has like his giant golf net and then his little grass and then he sets up his Garmin, which I've shown y'all in the vlogs before. And he basically has like this simulated like driving range golf course kind of set up and then he has a monitor like hooked up here he has a little whiteboard on our shelves and he basically has like a little like golf course driving range kind of thing so needless to say he spends a lot of time <laughs> in the garage playing with that and also the battery on this camera isn't gonna last much longer cool we have a nice little walk buddy i think he's sleepy 
we have electricity. And just finish our walk to, it's literally our route. We didn't plan this. It's exactly two miles on the dot from leaving our house to walking back in the garage. We started getting like a little bit of service while we were out there. And then we saw some people's like their outdoor garage. I'm so sweaty. We saw their outdoor garage lights on. We were like, thank God. Cause it's not, I mean, it's way sooner than they expected the service to be back. So Cole can take a nap now and it will actually like his sound machine will be on. Right Coley, we gotta make sure we get our naps in right away. That's right, baby. I've got a little tuna melt going in the George Foreman with the sweet and spicy kind. I haven't tried this one yet, but I've heard this one's really, really good. So I have it in there with some toast and just a piece of cheese. Very basic, but I think it's gonna be good. And then I should have shown my Home Chef unboxing yesterday because it was four boxes of Home Chef, like the most boxes I've ever gotten. But they now have these like soft pretzels that come with this like aged Asiago like cheese sauce. So I'm making one of these. I just made it in the air fryer for Ken and I to munch on, to go with lunch. Um, I made one yesterday, but I didn't put the salt on it. And it just says to like get it wet. And then apparently the salt is gonna stick to it. So I guess, yeah, see, no, it's not sticking at all. I didn't think that was gonna work. This is not like sticky. How is that supposed to work? Y'all saw, I just got it wet. And look, like this, the salt just fell off of it. It doesn't. I don't understand how that's supposed to work. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This cheese sauce, though, is so good. Babe, the salt is not sticking. It doesn't work. We should also do a little story time with Ken. Because something over here just reminded me about this. This is Willie's tooth. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, we, we can almost do like a reenactment of what happened. <laughs> He's an animal abuser. And he is here for the reenactment. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. So I'm here. He's over here somewhere. I'm not paying attention to him. As I turn to go up the stairs, he begins sprinting up the stairs, right by my feet. I don't really see him. So I take one step here, he runs up to this stair, and turns his little head around. At the exact same time, <laughs> I'm going to take another step up, and you can see where my knee's going. Oh my gosh. And he turned his mouth, and I caught him with the, right with my kneecap, the perfect spot. And he just right heard, this, like... Right in the kisser, and I just heard clap, and I was like, oh, there goes a tooth. 100%. Yeah, Willie seemed a little out of sorts after that happened, and then, I mean, it was probably within 10. Did you see his mouth was bleeding? Right, there was a little tiny bit of blood. It was, you had to kind of like look for the blood. It wasn't like spilling out or anything. And then within probably like five minutes. He kept licking his mouth and all of a sudden, pop. Yeah, all of a sudden he was just like looking down and then the tooth just fell out and hit the floor. So Willie lost a tooth. It was very rotted. I don't know if you all could tell from that shot. I know it's kind of gross, but it was very, very rotted. So it probably wouldn't have taken like a lot for it to come out anyway. And I know cats lose teeth all the time, but yeah, Ken basically knocked Willie's tooth out. Um, but I called the vet after it happened and they said like, unless he like won't eat, it's not that big of a deal or if it keeps bleeding, but if it doesn't bleed a ton and he goes back to like normal behavior and eating, then it's fine. And he did. So we didn't like do anything about it. I still have the tooth. I guess I'll throw it away. Time to munch. This guy's finally napping. Also guys, very, 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 very exciting news. Cole has officially tried his 100th food. Technically he has tried over 100 foods, but there's quite a few foods that the Solid Starts app like doesn't have for you to log. So I have like a separate list of those. So technically he hit his 100th food probably a couple days ago, but he officially has 100 foods in the Solid Starts app. So that's very exciting. That's like kind of a huge deal. I've mentioned this in like quite a few videos, but we had a goal of hitting 100 new foods for him by the time he was one year old. And he's not even seven months old yet. He's like six and a half months old. So the fact that we hit over 100 foods, like five, six months before our goal is kind of crazy. I honestly wasn't expecting that. So we'll have to congratulate him once he <laughs> wakes up. I honestly just like entered his food from this morning. I typically enter like everything he eats, even if it's not a new food, I always plug it into the app just so I can keep track of what he's eating and when. In case he has any kind of a weird belly situation or reaction or anything like that, I just like to keep track. So that's how I realized just now, even though he's asleep, that he had his 100th food because he had soy milk this morning, which I think he's like tried soy before, but I don't think I like logged it. So that was his 100th food, I guess, with soy milk. I put that in the uh, French toast sticks that y'all saw. Big boy doing big things. I honestly thought it was gonna be hard to do 100 foods by a year, but it was very, very easy. All right, we're gonna see how much editing I can get done before this guy wakes up. It wouldn't normally get <laughs> that would never happen. All right. 
We're heading out. Yay! Quick little OTD now that I'm dressed. I have a sports bra under here so that I can hopefully work out <laughs> when we get home. And then just this little like tank top. My necklace with Ken and Cole's name on it that Ken got me for Christmas. A little uh, denim jacket from Abercrombie. And then these are my flare leggings that I'm obsessed with. I literally cannot get enough of these leggings or like pants, yoga pants, whatever. I've mentioned these before, but these are such a good snack to have just like throw in the diaper bag because I can eat them, Ken can eat them. We can all, like Cole can munch on this too if I like, you know, make it small enough. So they're just like really good, like kind of healthier, low calorie options for Cole or <laughs> Ken or I to snack on. So I usually always throw one of these in the diaper bag when we're headed out. And that's from Target, by the way. I should have said that. <laughs> and it's like 90 degrees. It's not even like really cool enough. Well, it's not actually 90, it's like 85. But I always still wanna wear like a jacket or a sweatshirt because I'm always afraid the place we're going is gonna be cold. But like right now, I'm very hot. You ready, handsome? Are we gonna have fun watching your dad? We are. Gotta put his little shoesies on. Yeah, we gotta put your shoes on. Do you wanna wear these? You do? Okay. Okay, this is what we're doing. Oh shit. Yay! It's docked up. We're going in. You ready to go? <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Are you excited? That's not Ken in there, obviously. He's over there. But oh my gosh, Ken's not doing this one. This is like the really intense, like go all the way up kind of thing. <laughs> Ken's not ready for that, I don't think. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I go over there. That's cute. <laughs> I'll take a picture. <laughs> he's nervous. He won't admit that he's nervous. I'm really not. I'm just like, what in the world is this? <laughs> this is so such exciting. a thing that I, I yeah. used to never try to do. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's like two out there. Alright, there's Ken. He's on deck. <laughs> You did it. I can't even like describe what it was like. You gotta see the videos one, that I took. It's like you immediately become aware of how much air is just pumping. Yeah. Into the That's the first time I was like, oh my god, air is just circulating in all my sinuses. <laughs> That's funny. What do you think, bud? He loved it. You saw me fly. Alright, we are getting some donuts to celebrate his success. Hi, go. He's tired. 
Okay, one more stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting too hungry. I'm just getting too hungry. I'm just getting too hungry. <laughs> Alright. Goods have been secured. Plus the baby. <laughs> You're doing a high fly. Yeah, good posture. Good posture. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. <laughs> So, Ken overall liked it, not like craving to do it again. Yeah, I'm not like... I want him to do the one where they go like really high up, but he's too scared to do that. No way. <laughs> Alright, I gotta take this guy up for a little nap. Are you sleepy? It's a sleepy baby boo. The boys are doing tower destruction. <laughs> Ken puts the tower like as far from him as possible, and typically he can like scoot his way over. Okay, we're getting into a pickle. Okay. <laughs> like poop the other way. I've just oh it's dark. I've just done my workout in two different parts. Pausing now to have dinner and then I have to get him to bed and then I probably have to finish my workout after that. So I had a vlog not too long ago where this happened. I had to it took me like three different times to finish my workout. I think that's happening again today. We got those pizzas as y'all saw, but we got them like while we were out, so it wasn't dinner time. So we threw them in, reheated them. They're smelling insane. I'm looking so good. Whoa. <laughs> Is this what you do? Whoa. 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 <laughs> That's what you do. You do it cool. Oh, you're kind of stuck right now. Oh, you do like this. Whoa. Yeah, do that. <sighs> bum, bum, bum. I will not. Bum, bum. And don't try to pressure me. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. That's my boy. <laughs> Take my hand. Oh. Oh, it's bedtime. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, oh you're stuck. stuck, Gooby. That's okay. Come on. All right. Oh. Okay, so Cole has this new thing where he just, I mean, he's never been able to crawl, obviously, but he says, I don't need to crawl. I can just roll across the whole room. Oh, nope. Other way. Come on, Cole. You want this? Come on. Come get it. He will roll across the entire room. Come on, Cole. He says, why would I need to crawl when I can just roll everywhere? He wants to crawl so bad. Come on! Hey! <laughs> oh my god, I want to eat him up. You're on the vlog. Oh. Great. <laughs> okay. I was trying to get him to roll over this way, but you're rolling the wrong Hi. way. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Is that your Aunt Neen? Hi. Oh, she's silly. <laughs> oh, there he goes. And there he goes. This is how he I'm is. I'm rolling, baby. Yup. This is his main Hi. method of transportation. Hi. Who is that? Look at that gummy smile with the two teeth. Oh, she's silly. What do you think? She's a crazy lady. Whoa. I am a crazy lady. No. Hi, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell her not night. Tell her not night. Night night, baby. Okay, enjoy your trial. Okay. Okay, love you. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Alright, I feel like you got a taste of his rolling skills. I swear, he literally, I put it on Instagram the other day, he literally rolled from wall to wall, just shimmying back and forth, back and forth. Crazy guy. He is also such a pro at sitting up. Like, he is so sturdy and so stable. Oh my gosh. I seriously can't believe I have a baby that's, like, big enough to do this. And do y'all see his belly? <gasps> and his little croissant thighs. I cannot. Take it. We go, we go, we go, we go, we go. We gotta put your jammies on. No, we gotta put your jammies on. We go, we go, we go, we go. We go, we go, we go, we go, we go. We go. Good job. No, we gotta put your jammies on. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah, good job with your wiggle. Nope. <laughs> 
Okay, you ready to go night night? You ready to go night night? You ready to go night night? Hey, go. Hey, Gully. You ready to go sleep? You ready to go night night? Okay. I put him down right here for two seconds to switch out his crib sheet. And he made it all the way over there in his sleep suit to play <laughs> with this toy, which I can link this. I've gotten a ton of questions about this thing on Instagram. This is awesome. I mean, it's a little bit old for him, but it has like a whole bunch of different sides and the top with a lot of like cool little things for him to mess with. He loves it and I feel like it'll kind of grow with him. It's from Target, so I can link it up for you guys. <laughs> Clearly he likes it. He made his way all the way over here from over here <laughs> to play with it. Okay, it's time for bed, mister. We gotta brush those little teeth. We gotta brush those little teeth. Brush, 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 brush. <laughs> okay, good job. Okay, Cole is down for the night. He went down very, very easily. I don't know if I mentioned, but it took me three separate sessions to get my workout done. And I finally finished it. So I feel good about that. I feel like whenever I have like a million excuses to not finish a workout, but I still do. I feel like I feel extra proud of myself when I like push through one of the ones that like I could have easily just like quit on. Like nobody would know that I didn't finish it except for me. And it's just, I don't know. I feel like an extra sense of pride <laughs> when I like get something done that I could very easily have quit. But we're gonna probably sit down and hang out. I feel like I've kind of gotten a good amount of footage for this vlog. And I wanna start a new vlog tomorrow because actually my girlfriend's coming over who we both worked together back in New Jersey. We were like really, really good friends for a very long time honestly obviously I moved down here but now her and her girlfriend live down here so she's been actually living down here for a little bit but we haven't seen each other just because of COVID and all those kind of things but we're finally seeing each other tomorrow after like not seeing each other for years and now we live in the same city and still haven't gotten together so I'm so excited to see her so I'm gonna vlog tomorrow I don't know if she'll even like want to be on the vlog I have to ask her about that but I do kind of want to vlog tomorrow because there are some like updates I want to give y'all and then I got so much mail today. Like I have a huge box right here and then just a bajillion boxes <laughs> and envelopes. Like there's two over here, a bunch of boxes, like four or five envelopes. Now you're sitting on top of these boxes. I wanna include this probably in tomorrow's vlog and give you like some updates on coal and life things. And then my little uh, hangout time with my girlfriend. I'm so excited to see her. So I figure tomorrow will be a good time to show y'all all this stuff. Cause honestly, it's gonna take me forever to open all of this. So make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned so that you can see the vlog for tomorrow. I mean, it's not gonna go up tomorrow, but it's tomorrow my time and tomorrow's my rest day. So I don't have to work out. So praise, I love that for me. So tomorrow I will vlog all the things and make sure you are subscribed so you can catch that and all the future content. Thank you so much for watching and coming along today in our like really exciting fun day. Did you have a great day, honey? Excellent day. Yeah, it was so fun. And Cole honestly went down really easily. I think he was like very tired from all the simulation from the day. So I was a little bit worried how like the nap situation was gonna go because he also, he took a contact nap after we got home. I don't know if I mentioned that. So we got his third nap in, which thank goodness, because I think that's like why he went down so easily. I think otherwise it would have been a little bit more of a struggle, which that's something I need to update you guys on tomorrow too. Sleep weaning type thing so stay tuned thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed if you would like to subscribe we would love to have you we have so much fun here and until next time i will see y'all in our next video bye guys